and welcome everybody to another exciting episode of Carly Mother's Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CB Cubed. CB Cubed. I don't have anything today. Nothing, oh, That's fantastic. Yeah. It's catching on, it's catching on everybody. We have another great box for episode three of season five from the Scarlet and Violet collection. I literally had to pick up the box and be like, what's gonna do again? Yeah, yeah what's out. I, right, new I, base I, I totally know what we're doing here. No big deal, let's dive on in. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG player and determine your rare card or cards value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week we will also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75 that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And now for the wheel of energy. Oh man, if I recall, Ben, it is good news for the players if we land on salad and or eyeball energy. Last time we did have salad, so maybe, maybe we'll get eyeball well, maybe, this time, but who's today. to say what's it gonna be? Oh. Today's type advantage energy will be fireball. Fireball. Man, we haven't had fire in a while. I don't think we have, but I do feel like there were a lot of fireball energies last week. There so. was a lot of fireball energy in my college. I get it. Yeah. I get it. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Anyway, yeah. you want to talk about the randomly chosen common chase cards? Today's randomly chosen common chase cards are going to be Chansey. Pineco and Flamigo. Flamigo is one of my favorites. It's just a flamingo. Oh, I love it. Yeah. I love it. Hey, and if, if we can pause right there. I've got something I want to work on. Hang okay. On, just one second, okay? Are you changing the skate? <gasps> it's catching on too. The support all the way around. Goodness me. And look at this. Look at this. It's only because it's so easy. Plus, I like one Flareon. over. I'm not sure we've ever had Flareon center stage. This might be the first fireball energy to ever land. That's good energy. That That's is good, good energy. That, it, it gives me a good feeling. Good feelings all the way around. Let's see if we can crack open this box. Huh, nice. Fun mode. Fun mode. Engage. And... Engaged. Nice. Bam. Nice. Who's ready to have some fun? Let's do it. All right, our first player today, Ben, is gonna be Offion, who is coming off a six point, oh no, sorry, a, 14, a 15 point season. I can read the card. Get there eventually, absolutely. Get there eventually. So that was off one pack in Crown Zenith, so they can uh, beat, if they can beat 15 points in one pack, that's gonna be pretty great. So Offion, uh, part of Team Water, which I only bring up uh, because currently Team Grass is just Rocky absolutely Sullivan. pummeling, huh? Yeah. The competition. I see what you did there. So we need. I mean, we we need to see uh, Team Salad energy maybe maybe taken down a notch. I today. mean, Team Salad is way out in front. I want to say like by over a hundred points or something. So we're, oh, Growlithe is gonna score. I'm not used to I'm not used to grabbing the fire Pokemon. There it is. Floatzel, the Katie, the Buizel, and the Professor's, Professor's research. research. So a bit of a bummer out of the gate there, but two points for Offion. This is only their first pack of the season. They'll have two more packs to score before everything is said and done. There we go. Congratulations. Go. Professor's right. Research headed your way. Yeah, Professor's Research, probably just the longest standing effect in the entire game. Is it useful? Oh yeah. Does it always do the same thing? It's always discard draw seven. Wow. Yeah, and wow, it's wow, been wow. in the game since base base set. Base base set. Yeah. So the original. The OG. The original. Original, yeah. And then it was just called uh, Professor Oak's Research instead oh. of Professor's Research. Okay, but so they like kind of they, yeah, they slumped it down a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I do personally like to collect the full art Professor's Research cards. Anyway, our next contestant is Brant. Brant for Team Electric. For Team Electric. So. Uh, I don't know where they are in the standings just at the moment. As we were saying before though, yeah, so Team Salad Energy currently uh, in first place overall with the top three players in the game overall representatives of, of Team Salad Energy. Yeah, so, so uh, <laughs> that's gonna be, if you forgot, Margo pulled that awesome Miriam card last week and got up to 77 points. 
it's really impressive. So I don't know if we can pull one in back to back episodes, but that'd be wild. Let's see. Let's see what we got. So we got the Fido off the top, the Scatterbug, yeah. the Drifloon, the Sprigatito. Yes. Kilowatt troll, mm -hmm. the greed into the crocodile, the magnemite will not score. Oh, and right out of the game, the gold Coridon EX. That is going to be an excellent pull. That is amazing. That is amazing. Wow. And followed by the Meowskarada. I have um, not pulled this one personally yet, but I did pull the Alt Art Coridon the other day. That one's worth a pretty penny as well if we can manage that one at some point. Let's see what we got here with that. I love seeing the gold right out of the gate. It's right not away. common that it happens. That is going to be worth fifteen dollars thirteen cents, sixteen points overall, plus the extra point for the Meow so uh, seventeen, 17 point, point pack point. overall. That is going to be uh, good for eighth place. That's actually amazing. as it were. So you know, quality eighth place tends to move around quite a bit, uh, but it also well, I wouldn't say it puts you in contention for big Steve, but it really doesn't. You're way outside those lines. Way outside the lines. But yeah. So I think I think that the the quality eighth place. I mean, great spot to be in. Although as Jay says, it's it's liable to shift a lot since we're still into the first packs everybody opens, and three packs total you'll get to open this season for each contender. But it's still good points for uh, Team Electric, and uh, hopefully Robbie Cruz can continue down that line. Another player for Team Electric here. They are coming off of an eight point, se or a, uh, no, I'm sorry, a five point season in season three, where clearly they were competing for Big Steve that time around. Today, just the Metal Energy uh, okay. just, off the top just there. The, the Spupa, the Metatite, the Energy Surge, the Crocodile, oh, the, the Flamingo, Flamingo scores. Score. Yep, there you go. Fortress, the Metatite, the Star Raptor does not, and the Houndstone. So just a two point pack after all is said and done there. Not a huge addition to the uh, Team Electric score there, unfortunately. Unfor but we've got good momentum with that gold card early on. It just feels like more <clears throat> fun stuff is on, on its way. It does. All right, next up we have Dom. Dom. Dom, um, big family man, as we all know. Regularly I uses Pokemon cards in the Toy School Workshop. Um, Let's see it there. The Dark Teardrop Energy. Uh, yeah, Dom, obviously known for uh, their their recurring role in the Fast and the Furious franchise. Yes, also Very that. impressive, very impressive, of course. The, the school oh, oh my gosh, does it say shares a birthday with Vin Diesel on here? No Is kidding. that a real fact? Because they were just totally... Uh, pulling that off. That's hilarious if it is that, true. That is absolutely amazing and congratulations if so. It looks like it was written in after the fact so I'm not sure if we added this somewhere along the line or not but it says it on the card that he shares a birthday with Vin Diesel so. We're counting it. We're, We're counting, counting it. it. New head cannon. New, New head, head cannon. cannon. Do you share a birthday with any famous celebrities? Um, I, mm, the, the answer is yes. I do not know who off the top of my head, though. Katy Perry. For Katy me. Perry. That's pretty good. That's yeah, pretty good. Yeah, yeah. October 25th. <clears throat> okay, yeah, we got the- Charcadet scores. Oh, I'm so sorry. The Charcadet scores. Yes, you're right. Uh, still also getting used to the new the new fire energy. The Blissey, the Youngster, the Palmot does not score. Oh, look Whoa! at that, the King Gambit! The Altar King Gambit! I love it. That's such a beautiful card. And to round and off the, the Cyclozar, Cyclozar. Which may be the most commonly pulled uh, rare card that we have had so far in the yeah, set. Yeah, no I, doubt. I know that we have pulled the King Gambit before. I cannot remember how much it was worth, though. So it's a, a minimum three-point pack, but obviously the King Gambit's going to be a little more. Yes, yeah, so it's going to come in at $5.09. We'll round up to six, six seven, seven, eight. eight. Overall, not bad for uh, Dom and Team Fire. Getting eight points on the bar there. We'll sleeve that uh, King Gambit for you. I haven't seen that one become competitive yet, but it does feel like a card that could be. I, I honestly, this is one that I just, I love the aesthetic of it. I love like the symmetry. I just think yeah. it's, it's very beautiful. It's so. very fun. And its whole evolution line is like chess themed because it's like pawn and then fish oh, sharp and then. I have not uh, picked up on that at all, but yeah. I love it. Yeah, it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. Uh, next up is Kernak. Kernak. Kernak right. McClagan, as it were, known for uh, their participation in the uh, Gryffindor Quidditch team yeah. as keeper. Right, or attempted keeper. Attempted I keeper. Suppose. Yes, yes. Um, Kernak here is playing for Team Grass, so you gotta be on the lookout for some big numbers. I know, here. I know. Yeah, Team Grass has absolutely been crushing it so far. Yeah, I know that we yeah. toggle between grass and salad yeah. is how we refer to it, but they are the same. Scatterbug. Oh, oh and just is. as you might expect, there is an Alt Art Spidop CX followed by the Qu Quavel. Man, grass pulling big grass. Sorry, salad. Sa salad. Salad. My apologies. Goodness, you know folks. it's so funny. We talked about this card specifically last time. One of the cool things about it is that there is a scythe 
scyther yes. right there in the bottom of the frame, and if you get the scyther card, then you can actually see the uh, the rest of the image. Yeah, it's uh, actually it's the Tarantula card. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah okay. But um, yeah, the other half of the scyther is there. Yes, okay, so let's see. Number 243 on the set is going to be $4.68 for That's that spy dop, so it'd be five, six points overall. Plus, six just points. a really cool card. But as ever, gra or salad coming out with just a big flashy energy. You know, and it's funny because we've had we've had weeks before where we're opening and I feel like we're like waiting for those big cards to start coming and this week we're having them all early like, so I hope we right, can like maintain this momentum. Maybe this is just going to be a fantastic box. I know. We've had a couple of really good ones. I think last week was maybe the best booster box we've opened to date. No doubt. No yeah. doubt. That was an insane box. Next up we have Justin Jump for Team Fire. He's from upstate New York and just got into Pokemon cards. Hey, that's so fun. I love that you got into it and then immediately found a YouTube channel where you can like have packs open for you on the interweb. That's how you get part of the community right there. There. I hope that when you're at parties, you tell people that. Salad, energy on the table, so no type advantage uh, yet by anybody. The Rocky Helmet, the Mabostiff, the Oinkalone, Crocolore will score, the Moschiff will not, and the Cloth will, so that's gonna be a two point pack for Justin Jump. Well done, sir, you got yourself a Cloth coming in, which has gotta be just like an absolute, one of the derpiest Pokemon ever, and I super love it. That's amazing, that's amazing. I, I just in Jump, for whatever reason, it's reminding me of Jumpman because we just watched Mario. Yes. And so now I'm thinking uh, Jario. Jario? Jario, for Justin Jump. Should I write it down on his? We should probably write it down. I'm yeah, gonna get just a give card a little, back a little extra nickname a action. Little nickname, here we go. So, Jario! Bing, bing! Jario, it's a me, a Jario. I love there it. we I go. Love it. Okay. All right, then next up is Moss Twig, longtime player. In the, the mossiest. Game here. The mossiest. You've you never this, seen a twig. It's a bit, I mean, it looks like a green stick. You wonder to yourself, is it moss or a twig? Mm. And the answer is both. both. Yeah, fun fact, Mosto can also crack his ear like you'd crack your knuckles, so. Wow! Wow. That also, is... just side note from our editor, it says Cat and Ethan hate that. <laughs> <laughs> that so, is hilarious. I, I, if you see them in person, definitely do it. Definitely do yeah. it, absolutely. So Flittle, Saviper, oh, the Hound Hound scores, scores yeah. Satoddle, Flamigo the Flamigo scores. scores. Uh oh, some chase cards here. Know, some stuff's going on. The Energy Switch will not score. The Meowskarada will. will score. And yeah. the Palmot will score. There you go, so that's like a um, four, four point, point pack. pack. Overall for Moss Twig. Great use of really all of the uh, the metrics there. We got a little bit of the the uh, type advantage in play. We got a randomly Indeed. chosen common chase card, a couple of rares. Yeah, lots of ways to score in this game. They took uh, uh -oh. advantage uh -oh. of a bunch of them. Here we go. Uh oh, it's Dakota. Dakota. She has been looking for like the the card. The I card. Feel. I feel. Yeah. I, I, Dakota does uh, gaming with us once a month where we actually play video games with her and it is so much fun, uh, which is available over on Patreon if you'd like to get in on it. Patreon.com slash SuperCarlinGaming. Anyway, I feel like we owe Dakota a big pull, so let's I see know, what you I know, I know, let's see, her. bam. So just teardrop energy off the top there. We've got the Smoliv, the Wiglet, the Grievard, Zangoose, here we go. Let's see, can we get something big? LeChonk. Floet and the Maridon. So no, I cannot get anything big. We're going. doing our best, With Dakota. Anything, we're doing our best. Not so great. So we should probably write down the the low value here since we have a single pointer. Let's see. Yep, number so number eighty comparing. on the set is going to be worth nine cents. Overall, nine cents. So. Oh man. So I think we do have someone lower than that, but that's going to bring Dakota into a solid um, near last place. Which, you know, is not contention. the worst place to be at all yeah, times. You I mean, can there get is, There is something for last place. There so. sure is. All right, next up, Ben, is Bryliv. Bryliv. All right, let's see. Feels like big small of energy coming. All right, this is, of course, our uh, combo of Brian and Olivia, the married couple who loves to watch the show together and laugh at Ben and Jay pronouncing their username wrong. Are I, we saying it wrong? Is it not Bryliv? Bryliv? We've been through this. No, We've been through this. No, it's got to be Bry, because it's Brian, so Bryliv. Bryliv. Yeah. Bryliv. Yeah. I think we're nailing it. We're nailing it, for Are sure. we? Yeah. I'm second-guessing myself. Uh, Taran ta ta Tarantula. Tarantula. Nice. Watchroll. Uh, Crocorock. Mankey. Jock. Florigato. Zangoose. The Drift Blim will not score. The Energy Search will not score. And the Professor's Research oh. will score a single point. Oh, man. Poor Bryla. That feels like it's probably worth less than the Maridon, if I, you want to give it a double check. I feel as though you just yawned right on cue. Right. Just, it, was uh, like, it was like, you know what? Professor's Research. Yeah, like that research is boring. Boring, uh, let's man. Let's see. Number Sorry, Bryla. Y'all can are. fight over this one. I know, I know. Yeah, let's see here. 
uh, number. That's actually 19 cents. Oh, okay. So uh, a all fairly right. competitive, uh, low value card, all things considered. Does Honestly, it, not what you want, though. Not what you want necessarily for last place, yeah. but you know. If you're getting a single point, you want like five cents on that point. Five cents. I don't know if we've ever seen a five cent or rare. Man, that'd be that'd be like that'd be low. That'd be that'd be bold. That's down. Yeah. All right. Next up, we have Xander. Xander. Xander, who's coming off of his rookie season, over on a uh, Crown Zenith. Uh, Xander is quite talented. Can plays guitar, flute, and piano, and speaks Japanese and Chinese. Goodness gracious, Xander. Man, that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of study. I'm, a, I'm impressed that you have time here to come and tune into the show. We still no fireball energy. No fireball energy at all. There's the bi sharp. The, I love it. Yeah. Okay. Got the Riolu, the Spear Tomb, the Espartha, Ultra Ball, the Tandem Mouse, the Pal Pad, and the, the Meow Scarada. So just a single point there. Another. We're in. A, we're in like a. We we came out guns blazing with the gold. Uh, buns glazing. Yeah, we buns did glazing. Indeed. Fifteen yeah. cents on that Meowskarada. Man, so, so still a little better than the Maridon. There we go. There we go. Bam. But you know, if with, with enough single point packs, you could still be down there with just fifteen. Dakota's cents. gonna have words for us. I can just I tell. I can tell you, you know, now. Dakota loves Pokemon so much. She almost can't stop talking about it. Right, right, it's her right. Her favorite passion. You know, and we keep pulling bad cards for her. So anyway, Ben, maybe you'll have better luck with uh, Wilhelmina. Wilhelmina! Here we go. I think a rookie last season. Rookie last season, playing for Team Water. Team Water. Okay, so really everybody's firing at uh, at, at Team Salad. Yes. Over there, seeing if they can't march a comeback. We got a, a we rock got is a pummeling, pummeling energy. energy. So good omen for sure. Which, we by love the way, that if you're taking part in our um, uh, stepping competition, rock is pummeling is just absolutely pummeling everybody. Well done, Team. Yeah. 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 I'm but meanwhile, meanwhile, uh, eyeball energy. Eyeball energy. Yeah, we, we, we'll, we'll mount to come back. Sure. We'll mount to come back. Yeah. I think I'm in like eighth right now. You're so. doing pretty good. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're pretty high up there. There we go. Uh, yeah. I got Varum, Clauncher, Skiddo, uh, my ball stiff. They're really going for those Mastiff uh, like puns there. For sure. And I feel like it, they're, they're just making it harder than it needs to be. Mm. Uh, Oink Cologne, the Spirit Tomb, the Spupa. Yep. Does not score. The small live does not score, and oh, the skeleton will score twice because it has also got the type advantage. Nice. All right, let's yeah. Okay, let's just see for for value sake what that what that does. Nine cents for the skeleton. Well, nine cents. That's good. Unfortunately, they got two points instead of one. It's true. Yeah. It's true. Yes. So, that's a good point. There you go. Yeah, a good point. Or is it a bad point? Or a bad point. Uh, hard to know. Hard to know. Good, Only good time will tell. Here. All right. Next up, we have a Pandito, which kind of sounds like a Pokemon. Themselves. It, it does. It does. Pandito. Pandito. All his online screen names are actually based off his five-year-old daughter stuffed animals. Pandito is a red panda. Oh, so it is sort of off of a, um, an animal. In a way. In a way. Yeah. In a way, shape, and form. Is there a red panda Pokemon? No. It seems like there should be. It does seem like there should be. We're almost salad, salad energy. energy. So no fireballs on the table just yet. Yeah, Spupa Metatype. We got the Grimer, the Blissey. We haven't seen the Chansey yet. I don't think the Magneton does not score. The Shuppet does not score. The Cyclozar is back. Is Goodness. this our man? We are down in the uh, low points of this box. I feel like we need to. Yeah, the Cyclozar is worth seven cents. So oh, like, that might I, be the new leader. Ben. It could seven be seven cents. I know that's pretty amazing. That's I feel like we have pulled so many of those Cyclozars. I feel like we should have like a tally from henceforth. Man, as you're to right. how many we've pulled. Let's see, next up is Heartbeat. Heartbeat. So everyone just like, start feeling it. Is your heart racing? Is it gonna be a good pack on Heartbeat? What is the uh, what is the thing that Matthew McConaughey's character does in The Wolf of Wall Street? That's what it makes me think of. Like, oh, I've uh, not seen the movie. Oh wow, he does this like, like I don't know, if it's like a meditative trance or something. Mm -hmm. It might not be a good thing that he's doing, I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see here, so Dark Teardrop Energy. Uh, Squawkabilly, the Caspa Kid, the Alomomola. That's exactly Nailed right. Nailed it. Palmo, the Stone Journer, the Penny, the bad. Many Cham, uh, the Villain. does not score, actually. Does not no. score. Toad Scroll does not score. Oh, oh the Gear Dose EX! Yes. All right, we're back. We have another big card. We have something. But is it worth anything? We'll, we'll take a look. We'll take a look. Our number 45 on the set is worth $1.83, so rounds up to two points overall. Two points overall, and we're going to sleeve that up for you. We got a Gear Dose EX coming we your way. Sure will. Will. There is another Gyarados EX in the uh, art style in the box, which is more like the full art. So if someone pulls that, I think it will score a bunch more points. Where would you rank Gyarados amongst uh, the most popular Pokemon of all time? Oh, it's got to be like in the top 25, I would think. Okay. Because okay. it's like it, the the joy of learning that Magikarp evolved into Gyarados is like a first gen Pokemon was like that. Like when you didn't know, it it's was like so an, cool. It's like an Easter egg. Yeah. yeah. 
because it's sort of like, it's this thing where they were like, you're going to catch a Pokemon that can do nothing. Yeah. It cannot inflict damage. No. You must train it to level 20, wherein you will get something amazing. Yes. But but only if you're willing to be patient with it. There was something like intuitive about it too, because I remember getting the Magikarp and just being like, this does nothing. And I was like, I'm going to get it to level 20 and I'll just like, I don't know. Like, it just felt like... 20 is the spot to go. And when it evolved, I was like, what? I know, it's This is so amazing. I don't cool. know why 20 felt right, but it did, and I remember doing it and being well rewarded. Amazing. <laughs> All right, next up, Ben, we have Chadster. Chadster. Chadster coming off his rookie season with four points. His favorite Pokemon is Piplop, Pip which is Lop. appropriate for his uh, water team. Oh, yeah. Uh, allegiance yep, here. Team water, yep. Let's see if Chadster can pull maybe some big, maybe he was, maybe he would have liked the, uh, the Gyarados, Rockus Pummeling Energy again, so a couple of Rockus Pummeling, still no Fireball just yet. The Houndor scores, the Arvin does not, Mezagoza, Wiglet, Palmy, and oh, the, the Gardevoir War. EX! So, really competitive card, definitely making waves right now. Is it competitive in this game, though? Let's take a peek. Actually, yes. Yeah, I uh, thought it might be. Eight dollars three cents, nine points with the Houndor round up to ten. Ten, that's, that's amazing. That is amazing. Coming into the day, that would have dropped you right in about twelfth place overall. I mean, this so. puts you right behind Big Steve too. So right. if like, you come in with a couple of low packs, you actually could be in really good spot here. Drafting, that's what yeah. it's called. Yeah, drafting. It's yeah. like it's like in uh, NASCAR or the Tour de France or any other situation where having somebody cut the wind in front of you is helpful. So what Chadster is looking for moving forward is two one point packs. Packs, yes. Basically. Okay. Okay. So not a bad play, and that's a great opportunity. Or that's a great situation where a card that is currently competitive, like the value is like reflected as a result. Yes. Which is cool. Yeah. All right, Ben. Next up is our first rookie of the day competitor. It is Drawing Hearts. Drawing Hearts. Drawing Hang on Hearts. One second. Yes. Yep. I'm gonna go ahead and get this all written down. Oh, and she has a. It says a, a blonde birthmark, like Anna from Frozen. Oh, like a like a streak in your hair. That's cool. That's very cool. Me? Is it me? I think, yeah, it's, I think yep. it's you. Go for okay, it. Okay. All right. All right, Rook. Let's see what you got. Here we go. Greeny. Who, who's heading to the garden? Although this is this is salad energy, so it's I like, know you I gotta mean, watch out. These guys are scoring big. Part of a formidable pack. At I don't the know moment. what their training regimen looks like. I know, but it's impressive. It's, it's impressive. impressive. Quaxley, the Squovit, the Charcadet. Oh, you're right. I'm so yeah. sorry. Good chat. Lechonk, the Ultra Ball, the Espathra. Yeah, I think so. Nailed it. I haven't heard it said out loud by the show or anything yet, so. Okay, Arvin, the uh, Silicobra will not score. The Quackava will. Will score and, and the, the Annihilate. Annihilate. All right, so it's a three-point pack for Drawing Hearts, which isn't great for the leaderboard per se, but it is um, our current leader for Rookie of the Day. Which is not too bad. I think in the past couple of weeks, we have literally, it's come down to like, uh, I think the highest rookie we've had this season is maybe four points. No, I think Margo. Okay. Didn't Margo get... Um, Was Margo a rookie? Yeah. I now all my all my things are all well. Either which way, I know the first week of the season we had like a seven way tie, and every single person as a rookie only had one point, and it came down to dollars and cents for that Olive Garden gift card. Yeah, yeah, it did. So three points could definitely get you to the Garden, no doubt. Uh, next up, we have Tempest Blade. Tempest Blade. Tempest Blade. First po favorite Pokemon is Luxray, Luxray, Pyroar, Lucario, and Entei. So big lion guy. Big lion guy. What I'm guy. seeing yep, here. Yep. 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 We need yeah. a new fun fact, because I think we have gone through that one each time we've pulled for this person. All right, well, Tempest Blade, you know. Just send it our Oh, here we go! Hey, hey, there the, we go. There we go, type advantage is in play, and of course, it's for Team Salad. Of course it of is. Course of course it is. Course they it is. are all over the points. Let's see, Florigato, the EXP shared, the Stun Journal, the Research Will score. does score, the Houndoom scores, and the Palmoth scores. So, um, great use of all of the mechanics here, because yeah, this is just common otherwise, but because it's fire, it gets the points there, so it's gonna be three times two is six, six points for Tempest Blade. Really not bad. Coming into the day, that would tie you for 17th approximately, so like not, not a bad position to be in. Also, I think a great person to be a contender for that Big Steve Award yeah. if they maintain course. Right, exactly. There we go. It seems like you're within striking distance. And as a reminder, Big Steve has already pulled all of his packs, so his score is static for the rest yeah. of the season, so. So we just know that you wanna be Right at 12 points, basically. That's yes. the sweet spot, which no one is yet. Nobody's at 12. <clears throat> but it's a long season. Obviously, everyone has three packs. Next up, we have Abby. Abby. Let's see. Abby for Team Water. And we put some points on the board. 
Let's see what As a reminder, if your team wins the team competition, you will get the um, exclusive uh, Box Breaker Champion pin. Exclusive. Sent to you. Exclusive. And they will change each season. They will. They will indeed. So yeah, they'll be so. specific to the set. So this one is Scarlet and Violet. Uh, themes. We got the Toad School, the Rotom, the, the Chansey, our first one of the day, the Rare Candy, the Quax Quaxwell, the EXP Share, the Toad Scroll, uh, the Grievard will not score, the Toxtricity will not score, but the oh, Oinkalone EX! Yes, there you go, Oinkalone EX. You'll love to see it. No, yeah, let's see, number 158 on the set. Double check, it's going to be $2 even, oh, so no rounding at all, man, unfortunately. One cent, but we do get the point for the chances, so it's going to be three points overall. Yes, this is one cent away from getting an extra point. That is a bummer right there. That is indeed. Rarely does it land right on the double zero. I know, I know. Well, you know, either which way, though, it's a, it's a cool full art card headed your direction. It sure is. I and do congrats like... on the first Chansey of the day. Yeah. All right, next up, Ben, we have another contender for Rookie of the Day. It is Lauren, who uh, has a Name of the Wind-themed work-from-home office, which is Ben has a Name of the Wind-themed um, Work at work office. I do, I do yeah. indeed. Um, I have posters behind my desk. Also, Sesra, the sword from Name of the Wind, is literally hanging on that wall right there. And right I, over there. I tell you what, that thing is a real sword. Dude, like, it would cut you. If, if a zombie apocalypse happens, I, I kid you not, I would carry it with me. Right, like, yeah. I mean, you would sharpen that, you could slice their brains right open. Right open. Hey, hey, what do vegetarian uh, zombies eat? Uh, I don't know. What do vegetarian zombies eat? Grains. Uh. <laughs> Anyway, continue. <laughs> Dark teardrop energy, so no type advantage just yet. We have the Fido, the Dedo. The Pineco. Pineco. That's our first Pineco of the day, I think. Nice. Oh, the worst Cyclozar. Oh, wow, wow. <laughs> Flittle, the Grievard does not score, and the Armor Rouge is going to get double points because it's fire. Okay, yeah. So it's going to be one, two, three points overall. <laughs> one, for, two, three. For Lord, which actually now brings us to a tie um, with our... Rookie of the day. Oh, okay. So we should look up the Armor Rouge because that's going to be the rare card value. And I have a feeling this is actually going to be pretty low rare card value. Yes, let's take a look. So eight cents. Eight overall. cents. So currently, Drawing Hearts is going to hold on uh, using total rare card value metrics with 19 cents versus nine cents. <laughs> Uh, eight cents. Eight cents, eight cents okay. Yeah. So, 11 cent difference between the two. So they both scored three. At that point in time, we go to what we call TRCV, which is total rare card value. So all the other card metrics get taken out of the equation and we're just including rare yeah, card values. Indeed. So Drawing Hearts leads that contest with three points, uh, but if anyone else gets more than that, they'll take over. There you go. All right, next up is Vaiva. Okay. Or Veva, sorry, I said your name wrong. It has the pronunciation right here. Right here! That's why we include it. Yep. That's why we include it. I don't understand why every single Pokemon card doesn't also include... It really should. ...the pronunciation. That'd be great. It would be handy. Yes. <coughs> All right, let's see here. And a lot of arguments. Energy. There we go. The Tarantula, <coughs> the Wattrel, the Crocorock, the Mankey, the Cacturn, the Mezagoza. This is so many grass in it this one. It is. The Heracross, the Krogunk. Uh, the Poke Gear does not score, the and Arba does, does. And, and that's, that's it. Gear scoring. So we have a single point scoring. We need to look that one up too. See where we are on our. I know. Um, look at that. That was the most last week. That would have actually been insanely competitive. So eight cents. Oh um, man. So the Arba Yeah, last week that would have been one, two, three, four, plus the type advantage. Yeah, and then this one would have scored twice. So it would have been five. It would have been a ten-point pack last week, but it's just a single point pack this week. Yeah, but put you in contention for last place. That's true. With eight cents, that's pretty solid. That's pretty solid. All right, Ben, next up we have Jade. Jade. Jade for Team Water here. Was the president of a Harry Potter fan club in high school. Well, howdy! What do you know? That's so much fun. I don't think our high school had a Harry Potter fan club. I don't think it did. Otherwise, yeah. we probably would have been a part of it, it as well. It does feel like we would have been, right? Yeah. All right, let's Bam. see. Bam, all right. Eyeball energy, so no type advantage. We got the Squawk ability, the Capsa Kid. Palmo, Defiance Band, Drift. Oh, the Nest Ball. Ball. Oh, we forget. This is points. the first time. That is two points this yep. season. The King Gambit. Oh, that actually does score as well. That's a star card. The Arvin and the Reverum. Nice. The Reverum's pretty cool. It lets you like draw up to six once per turn, which is neat. So yeah, and then as a reminder, so the Nest Ball is sort of an interesting situation as well this season because it is just an uncommon card, not even an official rare, but due to its uh, usability in gameplay, it is actually has increased value and is worth two points. Yeah, so this is sort of replacing our V-Star mechanic from last season, which got you a negative point, where uh, this season uh, you get a plus two. Yes, so that is going to be a four-point pack. Right? 
Yes, well okay. done to Jade. Well done to Jade. Nest ball coming your way. Enjoy that nest ball. And as a reminder, guys, if you ever get any of your packs and you decide to frame your rare card and then take a picture of it and send it to us, mm. we'll happily feature it here on the show. We absolutely will. All right, next up is a Jupiter Fox. All right, Jupiter. Mm. They're a professional face painter. What? Yeah. And balloon artist. What? Jupiter, are you a clown? I mean, it sounds like at least uh, like some faction of clown school. Man, it says they got engaged at the end of October with a wedding in October of 2024 incoming. So I just want to recommend to you, Jupiter Fox, that there be many balloon animals and face painting at your wedding. But don't not 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 that you need to be doing the work. But right, it, but it should be like, like it should be featured. Right, like, a, like as a, a representation of your personality. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it so much. All right, so we got the salad energy right off the top there. Let's see here. We got the Pawniard. <coughs> Pawniard? Pawniard. Pawniard? Yeah, Pawniard. Pawniard. Yeah. The Wiglet. The Toad's Toad School. Toad yeah. School. Toad School. Toad School. Toad School. Sand Dial. The Picnic Basket. Well, that's just a disappointing existence that of a card what? in general. I'm not mm. pleased that it, that it happens to be there at all. Bombardier. The Hypno. Uh, the Flababy. Flabebe? Flabebe! Flabebe! Does not score. Uh, the Crocodile does not score. And the King, King Gambit, Gambit does, does score. Oh, man. So let's see. We have our single pointer here. We're going to keep track of those cents as That's gonna well. going to be eight cents for, oh, the, for the King Gambit. Lots of people trying to tie for that last place spot. It's amazing how one penny can really uh, make the difference on those it cards. It really, yeah, I know. It's it's amazing. we got to figure out what is the, what is the least valuable rare card you can get. Yeah, we should look that be up. Be on the lookout for it. All right, Ben, next up, this is maybe what Team Water needs. It's Brooke. You know what? Brooke is a heavy hitter. Yeah, I mean, it's no surprise. Her name is Brooke. She's on Team Water, which is like a kind of body of water. Have you ever seen when like, when uh, when baseball players are getting up to bat and they can do the thing where they swing the bat and they mm -hmm. can let go, it spins in the air and they catch it again? Wow, that's That's insane. what Brooke does. That's Brooke what walks Brooke does. up to the plate, does the bat spin, and like, you know, taps like the cleats and yeah. everything. And it's just like, like ready to knock it out of the park. We're about to see it right now. Here we're about we go. To see. Brooke, if you will recall, was our season three champion, pulled the Alt Art Lugia V. Rock is pummeling energy. Pummeling. You'll, love, yep. to see You'll it. love to see Until it. Until we Coco scores. Nope. Doesn't it? Oh, it does. I'm sorry. Fire. I was thinking last week. Yep. Okay, you're right. Yep. Lechon. Crocolore scores a great whole evolution know, line, Ben. Maybe she's going to get the Skeledurge in here. The Stone Turner, does, does that Stone score? The Stone Turner does not. That's the Spirit Tomb does not. And the Clefty, Clefty. Oh. does. Uh, so that's just going to be a three point pack for Brooke. The crowd is like, okay, next time, next at bat, next, time, next, next at bat, bat. You know what? we it's got like, it. That's the thing, nobody bats a thousand. No one nobody bats a thousand. thousand. You know what, even in her winning season, Brooke had a single point pack, so. Oh, right, right, right. You know? so, I mean, we've seen this before. You, you only need one giant card to win the game. All pros have their off days. All and plus, do. you already did that cool bat spin thing, so like, as far as I'm concerned, you're still living. I mean, thanks for putting on a show. All right, next up, Ben, it is another crowd favorite. It's Emily Stock. Emily Stock. All right, Emily, let's see what's in store for you today. All right, Metal Energy. Whoop. Got the Shuppet, the Tandem Mouse, the Smoliv, the Primeape, Cyclozar, Toxtricity, the Mousehold, Caspa Kid, which the doesn't score. The Chunk doesn't score. And oh, the Grind on Oh, no. no. Man. man. That's going to be a single point pack for Emily this outing. It is. It is, unfortunately. Oh, my gosh. Let's see it. Everybody's just all the like oh, it's nine cents. Oh, the there, nine but, cents. Yeah. So, boy, that's a, that's kind of a big number for last place this particular season. Um, but either way, big shout out to Emily, who is also a moderator over on our Discord server. So we thank you for all the other work you do. We appreciate you. <laughs> we absolutely do. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll pull a better card for you at some point. Uh, next up is Jesse for Team Electric. Jesse has been playing really consistently. Uh, we finished seasons of 12 points, 12 points, and 14 points. Wow! So, I mean, honestly, with the upward tra trajectory as well. So season two, 12, season three, 12, season four, only one pack, 14. Right, so, so if they can land at 12 again, they're right at Big Steve. So maybe this is the season they've been waiting for. Metal Energy. Let's see, Toad School, Road Time, the Chansey, Chansey scores. scores. There we go. The, the Picnic, picnic Basket's so lame. Wow, the Switch, the Oink Alone, and oh! oh! The Full Armor Ride on EX! That is an awesome card. Absolutely. I'm gonna leave that for you while Ben looks it up. So, right. wow, excellent card. Very competitive. Yes. 
Of all the artworks of Maridon too, this is my favorite. There is the alt art version of it, which is cool, but I love the pink on this one. Look at this, look at this. I was talking about that upward trajectory. Yeah. The, the Maridon full art worth $13.50. We'll round up to 14. Wow. Time last season with the chancy 15 points. Boom! Man! Boom! Jesse on such an upward trajectory. That I is what you call it. negative splits. Negative splits. Improvement each time. Very impressive. Indeed. Well done, Jesse. Wow. Well done. Keep an eye on Jesse. Team Electric. It's going to be maybe your big hitter someday. There we go. All right, next up, though, speaking of big hitters, it is Sierra for Team Grass. Now, Sierra had a single point season last time for 10 cents. Was this last? Maybe she came in last place. I don't know. It's possible. It it's is. It's possible. Would have been very close. Would have been very close. So let's see. Maybe they're going for last place again. Got the eyeball energy, which, you know, rep in. Rep in. I love it. The, the Hound Houndoom score, score. So the, that's already going to take you out of last. The Skyderbug, the Drifloon, the Beach Court, the Sandaconda, the Star Raptor, the Squawkabilly will not score. Uh, Pachirisu? Pachirisu. Pachirisu. Yeah, Pachirisu. Pachirisu uh, will not score. And the, and the slow, slow bro. bro. Which is still maybe my favorite art of the whole It absolutely season. is, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to butcher this. Shinji uh, Kanda is the, is the artist. Shinji Kanda. Illustrated. Yeah, very impressive. Got to love that. So anyway, just a two-point pack on the day, though, but some otherwise really cool cards headed your direction. I was watching a video uh, just yesterday about a way you can uh, play this card semi-competitively, and it's very funny the way it works because there's another slow bro that um, can take two prizes if your opponent has just one left. Okay. And this slow bro can move damage counters from your other Pokemon onto itself. So what you do is towards the end of the game, you just move all of the damage counters to these slow bros, knock themselves out so that the win condition on your other slow bro is met, and then you just activate it and just, boom. And just right. win. If I ever play, that's my play. That's it. There that's you go. That's yeah. going arc slow bro. Arc no slow doubt. bro. All right, next up is Kitten Ninja! Whoa! Another competitor for Rookie of the Day. Their favorite Pokemon are Charizard and Jolteon, so sadly there aren't any of those Pokemon in this particular set, but uh, both of those will be featured in the upcoming Pokemon 151 set later this Ooh, year. I am excited for that. Yeah. If you guys enjoyed our Crown Zenith season where it was just the one month run, uh, we <coughs> will be doing another one of those with the Pokemon 151 yeah, set, which is going so. to be so much fun. It's what I've been asking for for years. So you have. You've been like, they should just do a set with just the originals. Just like, the originals. Now they are. Right, yes. So uh, is it me, you? I think it's you. All right, all right. Kitten Ninja, let's do this. Can they pull something big? They like Charizard, so maybe they will get the Fireball Energy here and get that type of advantage, which I think only one person has had today. It feels like we're due, but not today. It feels like we're due! Ah, if, it, it would, if only the Growlithe will score, the Staravia, Muck, Vivalon, am I saying Dashbund? Daxbund? Uh, well, like, I think it's like 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 Doxin. 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 Yeah, okay. so Doxbun. Do Doxbun. Doxbun. That makes more sense. Lucario Growlithe again. I'm telling you, we have to have a mechanic for double pulls like this. I know. There's gotta I know. be something in there. Uh, and then the Dondozo. Dondozo. Dondozo scores as well. So it's gonna be a three point pack overall for Kitten Ninja. I'm not gonna lie. I also like the artwork on this Growlithe here. It just yeah. seems like a good time. It's not bad. It's simple. Is it the same artist? That'd be crazy. It's not. It's uh, not. No, but it is cool. Ben, like Loki, just has a, a favorite artist. I know. Yeah. It's Pokemon like cards. without even knowing it. Without even knowing. Some of them are really distinct. Like you can tell. Like oh, all these were for sure the same person. Right. Oh wait. Right, right. How many points was that, Ben? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, because we needed to double check for Rookie of the Day. It's three points again for Rookie oh, of the Day. Oh, goodness, so my gracious. Hold on. Let's do some math here because we want a high score on this one. So it's just the Dondozo that's going to be counted for that. So okay, so I think it's going to be a tough play. Number 61 on the set, is yeah, that Yeah, right? unless it's over 19 cents. Oh, uh, 11, just 11 cents. cents. So, so three another three-point play and another uh, down to cents there, but the Dondozo is not enough. However, another contender is about to enter the battlefield. It is Kendra. Kendra. Rookie debut. Knows nothing about Pokemon, just wants to share the cards with her nephews. Avery, Asher, and Aiden. Oh, I love the naming convention there with all the A's. That's fantastic. All right, and also- I wonder if they're triplets. Potential fun pack going on as well. So this is one, we have 38 people participating in today's episode, which means that this box actually came from an ETB, oh. not from a booster. So uh -oh. all, all bets are off. Let's see, yeah. so we've got the lightning bolt energy off the top there. Uh, the Dedenne, oh, the, the Pineco, Pineco will score. The uh, Flittle. Does not, the the Coco does. Yes, it does. The Cyclozar, the Vitality Band, the Toxtricity, the Sandaconda will not score, the Zangoose will not score, and the King uh -huh. Gambit. 
Uh, we'll get you up to three ben, points. Ben, it's three points again, but it's like the rookie yes. three point season. It is, it is. So that's all right, number... so this is just the king gambit scoring because that's right. the only actual rare card. All right, let's see. We're so going by. Eight cents. Eight cents. Oh, oh my no. gosh. This is so funny. So all of our rookies today have gotten three points. Have gotten three points, and it, it goes back to that first episode of the season where they all got one point. Man, the rookies they're like coming, they're like graduating from the same classes. It seems like. It seems that way. Man, where do they go to Trading Card University? All right, this is for Anthony, who is uh, other contender Doe's eldest or older son. Doesn't say eldest per se, uh, but is interested in game programming. So hey, you know, you're gonna want to study all of our fun game mechanics over here and all the different ways we can score. I like to think that we've come up with some fun ones. No doubt, no doubt. Let's see if Anthony can take advantage of the type advantage. No, nope, uh, sorry, teardrop. Solid effort. Yep, we got all the right. Fido off the top. The Fido, the oh, the, the pine score. scores. There you go. So many, look at this. The look at eyeball. The eyeball. I know. It's crazy. Goodness gracious. Now we're gonna land double beach court. Oh, oh! and the rolls. Ooh, this one is pretty sought after, so I could see this being worth some points right there. I um, know it's also eyeball. Can you imagine if that had been the type advantage? Goodness, I know. Yeah, that would be wild. And okay. the Indeedy. So three scoring cards. Let's All see right. how the Ralts does. Yes, that's that is a really cool one. Explain the the fun thing about the yeah. Ralts so the cool thing about the Ralts is there is a Ralts, a Curlia, and a Gardevoir all in this set. And uh, they tell a story across the cards. So right here, you can see this uh, girl moving into her house with her little baby Ralts. And then in the Curlia picture, you can see her and her, uh, I guess, boyfriend or husband. And in the Gardevoir picture, it is uh, the, them with their kids. Yes. So yes. it's really cool if you can get all three of them to like watch it, watch the uh, Ralts like grow up the with sequence. the girl. Yes, absolutely. It's yeah. really neat. Okay, so the Ralts, number 211 on the set, is an illustration rare. It's giving worth $10.69. 11 points 11, rounded 12, up. 13. 13, which Man, I think puts think. you at Big Steve. Big Steve for hey, the moment. There absolutely. you go. Incredible. It will be hard to hold that. Yeah, because um, obviously you'll score more points throughout you, the season. Yes, you will indeed. But uh, not a bad spot to be in no matter what. That's really amazing. It actually, I, coming into the day, would have put you in 10th place overall. And no matter what, you got the Ralts, so that's still pretty cool. Yes. Yeah, there we go. Here we go. Next up is monkey bacon. Monkey bacon. All right. The monkeyest bacon ever. Oh, thing? this is a father-son team. So dad is bacon, son is monkey. Oh, that's, oh, that's so awesome. fun! Oh my god, I love oh, man, that. I hope we get like an Annihilate in here. That would be fun. Oh, I hope we get an Annihilate and an Oinkalone, because then we get the bacon and the monkey. Oh, good point, good point. Alright, we got the Squovit, the Charcadet will score. This is the Chonk! The Chonk, there we go. There we, we, got, go. we got a piece of it. We got the Starly, the Ferretress, uh, the Rocky Helmet, the Mabas, the Mastiff, uh, the Curlia, <laughs> uh, which is the second piece of that Ralts, in yeah. case you're wondering. Uh, that one will not score. The Sprigadito will not score. And the, the Skeledurge will score will. twice. twice. Yep. Yeah. So that's going to be a three point pack. Three what are you, a pack? rookie? I know, Come seriously. On there, monkey bacon. Goodness gracious. So at least we got the, we got the bacon mixed into the. Into the equation there, right? That we did, yeah. We got the we got the lechonk in there. Lechonk. So no monkey, just chonk. But there we go. Next up is Stacy. Stacy. Stacy coming off of it. Just a two point season, so maybe hoping for something a little bit bigger. Um, but let's see. On a bad day, the Benjamin and Jonathan always make me feel better. I like that they call oh. us the Benjamin and Jonathan. I love that. That's so great. Well, Go, going full eight letter names there. There you go. Here, let's see. Can Stacy get the fireball? Man, uh, no, how have we had only one? I don't know. It's, it is it's wild. remarkable. Yeah. Here we I, go. I think last week we literally had several, so. Yeah. Katsuguri, the Skogel, the Torkoal scores. Score, oh, there's yeah. the Mankey we were yeah, looking for. The Char Cadet scores and, and the, King the King Gambit. Gambit. So that's going to be a three point pack. For Stacy here, so better than last season at least. There we go. Not so bad for Stacy. Not so bad. Incidentally, one of the names that Alice, my wife, desperately wanted to uh, have for our child, so that really? she could be. Yeah, she was like. Oh, so she could be Stacy's mom. She could be Stacy's mom. <laughs> she was. I kid you not. I mean, it was like at first when she told me, I, I couldn't tell if she was being serious. And like the longer it went, she was like, No, I like I'm serious about this. So Man. Anyway, great name, Stacy. I love there you it. Yeah, go. good stuff. Good stuff. And uh, you know, so how to your mom for us? I guess. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, all right. Next up is Shauna, another contender for Rookie of the Day, so I'm expecting a three-point pack almost no matter what at this point. Um, they have music playing almost constantly, so crank up your suspense music, people. Can we get... It is about to go down. Uh, yeah, uh, if, uh, if there's any running theme, it's the three-point rookies today, so we're going to find out if it holds up 
or if uh, Shauna can just <gasps> blow them. Oh, Ooh. uh oh. So it almost seems impossible to get three points now. Right? It almost seems it is impossible. Because, yeah, yeah it'll be and, multiplied by right, two. So the Palmy, so. the Tarantula, the Riolu, the Magneton, Ooh, the, the Crocolore. Okay, so, that, so that's this, four points. That's four points, bare no matter minimum, what. Because there will be a rare. The Forges, <clears throat> the Muck. The Rotom does not score. The Wug Trio does, does not. not score. And, and the, the Houndstone. Stone. Oh my goodness gracious. So, four so points. Four <laughs> points will put you in uh, the top spot for Rookie of the Day and that Olive Garden gift card, which Boom. is amazing. Uh, congratulations, because that was really like just using the mechanics to your absolute best to launch yourself forward. Edging out the competition. Look, just for the sake of, in case there's another tiebreaker, You're that's right. number 106. Um, it's gonna be worth seven cents. Oh my gosh! So, so maybe this is the best, uh, the worst rare card to pull. It might the be the Houndstone. Wow! Wow! Man, there you go. So, so Shauna so gets both it. both a win and a loss at the same time, depending you know, on your perspective. You gotta get that type advantage in there if uh, you wanna if you wanna make good use of those uh, points here. Next up, we have Tex. Tex coming off their own rookie season. Uh, they have a. They said they got a JDM booster pack as a kid for Christmas. JDM, I don't know what JDM, that means. JDM. Uh, it must have, would it have been an early set? I don't know. I'm trying to think. Jungle? Fossil? Base set? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Incidentally, speaking of tax, we are going to be at RTX this year, July 7th through the 9th. If you'd like to come and do some in-person trivia with us. Oh, yeah, we will. That'd be super fun. But probably, I mean, I wouldn't put it past me to bring some Pokemon. Last time we were there, there's an awesome Pokemon store in Austin, Texas that we might have to go back to. Okay, okay. It's a uh, deal. Link in the description down below for tickets. Yeah. All right, Dondozo does score. The Skiddo. Oh, and the Iron, Iron Treads. Treads. Hey, we haven't seen that in a while. No, we haven't. All right, okay. so three scoring cards here. Let's take up the Iron Treads. Yeah. Yep, we'll do it. Number 143 on the set. If we scroll our way down, number 143 is worth 60 cents. So just oh. a single point oh, no. for the Iron Tread. So it is, a, it is a full pack. arc, but uh, nothing super exciting. Three-point pack is the name of the day, isn't it? It Maybe. is. A bunch of Steph Currys out here. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Just like Steph Curry. Just like Steph Curry from Beyond <laughs> the Arc, am I right? Woo! For the win! Yes! All right, next up, Ben, it is going to be Nixie Claw. Nixie Claw. Nixie Claw. Uh, six points last season, participating for Team uh, Fireball Energy. So maybe uh, that Fireball Energy will translate over and get you get you one for the that multiplier. We oh, haven't man. seen many today. What's so up? Nixie Claw is a JMU alum, class of 2009. So they actually would have been there at the same time as my wife, Beth. No way. That's crazy. That's, That's pretty fun. wild. All also, right. it says attended a Halloween event at Virginia Tech in 2007, Ooh. which I think is, you would have been there. I would have been there for that. Yes, I would. You're right. So How we were that? there at the same time. Basically, Maybe best Maybe we friends. were at the same party. I can't wait for you guys to reminisce about that Halloween party. I'm do you trying. know what you did for your first Halloween at Virginia Tech? What was your costume? Uh, I do not know <laughs> at all. I don't want it. Let, um, huh. Nope. Okay. Can't remember at all. Let's assume Charmander. No, you know what? I am thinking maybe it was Indiana Jones. No, that was 2009. I'm sorry. Oh, no, that's... no, never mind. All right, so we got the Sprigadita, the Flittle, the Saviper, the Hound Door Houndor scores. will score, the Katie, the Electric Generator, the Wug Trio, mm -hmm. the Curlia will not score, the Sprigadito will not score, although we, we need to invent that mechanic. I know. Uh, oh, oh Lord Katie! Also, I think, look at that. Look at that. It wow. would have happened twice. It would have happened twice. What, whatever it is. Whatever it is, um, yeah. All right, we'll we'll have let's take a look at the that. full art Katie. Is that a competitive card? Uh, not really, no. Okay, okay. Uh, so, but any full art card gonna be worth a little bit more um, show for your hand into your deck then draw eight so yeah it's only okay not so bad all right so uh, let's see here so four dollars fifteen cents we'll okay. round up to five so six so overall six overall that's exactly what they pulled in their last pack not a bad showing though Sweet and full art trainers are always uh, definitely worth having in your collection man yes they are everyone, everyone likes a good full art trainer all right next up we have Fran Fran! Fran. And Fran is coming off their own rookie season where they scored seven points, which it feels like would have been really competitive. It, this feel, it feels as though it would have been competitive, especially yeah. this season. Yeah. All right, let's see, let's see. What can Fran do today? Have we, yeah, we have seen another Fireball Energy. Oh, oh! and here we go, Fran came to play with Fire. Of course, Fran is playing for Team Grass, so of course. Oh, it's yeah. no yeah, surprise yeah, at no all. No surprise whatsoever. Here we go, the Wiglet. Can they put together a string of points for Grass to extend the lead? So far, so no. no. The Crushing Hammer does not score, oh and the Halucha, how unfortunate. Just a two-point pack after getting the type advantage. 
Man, that is disappointing to see. I want to tell you that one of my favorite parts about having the the energy card mechanic inside of this game is that we are probably we have probably provided the most amount of suspense yeah. for an energy card in the history of energy cards. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. 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 So there we go. It's an accolade that we get to wear as a badge of honor. Yeah. You're welcome, big energy. Big energy. Which actually is probably more like oil or something. <laughs> yeah. So you're not welcome. You're not welcome. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> All right, next up we have Jackinator and Dakinator. Are they a rookie? They are playing for rookie. This is a, this is a duo. Okay. Uh, they nuzlocke alongside me, and I found that they love uh, Star Wall. What, Ben? That almost means they watch the bonus gaming footage. You wow. must be one of like the ten people who watches that. One of the one of the ten. What did they do? Look, if you look, if you don't know, we post a bonus gaming video every Saturday where uh, me and Ben and people at the office just play uh, either Star Wall or Rocket League or something silly, and we just answer questions and have. A good time. It's really sometimes it's like the most fun thing we do all week, and we end up uh, laughing a lot. If you want to check those out, uh, I think that's like our lowest level Patreon tier for SCG. Yeah, so just patreoncom slash Gaming. Yeah. Uh, obviously, everyone playing the game, you're already in, so you, this is something you already have access to. Right. Yes, indeed. <clears throat> uh, the Clawitzer right off the top. We got the Grievard, the Mastiff, oh, Mastiff, the Wiglet, the Vivalon, uh, Doxbun. The Tatsugiri, the Maraidon will score. Oh. The Riolu will not score, and the Quakavo will. There we go. So okay. two points on the pack. Not going to be good enough for rookie of the day. That's a four-point game. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I'm wow. highly competitive. Look, it averaged out to three though, because we had a four and then a two. Right. Yeah, you're right. And look at that. How about that? So that is so crazy. We got two for Jack and Dak. Jack and Dak. All right. Next up is Nickel. Nickel had a great season last time with 19 points off that single pack. Very impressive. Very oh, and impressive. they're a chemist. Oh, that's cool. How about they, that? They've been trending up as well, Ben. They've gone from 3 points to 8 points to 19. So, okay. Okay. let's see. Can they finish this season even higher than 19 points? Got a rock rocket pummeling. pummeling. They came to fight. Yep. You love we to love see it. it. Yep. Yep. Magnemite, energy switch, judge. judge. Float soul, team, team star, star grunt, grunt, ocean, ocean driftloon, and, and the cloth. Oh, oh, man. Cloth feels like it could be down there for lowest valuable rare. Let's have Let's a look see. there it for does, the single It does point have match. that kind of vibe about it, doesn't it? It Let's does. Let's see for 122 on the says worth seven cents. So. Oh, so I think it's a tie then. That is that. that is pretty not good. That is so pretty well not good. done. So in a way, great. You're in last. You can win there. You can win there. You can win. As a reminder, there points. are four winning positions overall, uh, not including the rookie of the day, which gets you an Olive Garden gift card. You can only participate in in your rookie uh, showing. Yeah. Um, however, we also have first place, quality eighth place, the Big Steve Award, and last place. Yes. So any of those will get you a box. And uh, in case you're wondering, Big Steve is capable of winning any of those himself except the Big Steve Award. That is true, yes, because yeah. there's no way that he can be in the position directly above himself. I suppose if he came in first place overall, he would win. That's a good point. Oh boy. Gosh. It's gonna be a good day for Steve. That would be, that would be. All right, let's see here. So uh, for Chris Ray, let's see. Oh, we got the Fireball oh, here Energy. We go. Very we exciting. We have two packs left, so right. this is exciting. The Pontiard, the Toad School, the Sand Dial, the, the Hound Dooms. Work there two it right is. away. The, the Tarkle. So we're up to four points just like that. Uh, the Penny will not score. The Drowsy will not score. And the Mariadon will. Man, so four points overall, I believe. No, no six. six points overall. Yeah, six if I can overall. math correctly. You can math it don't out. let me do it. Um, so, man, we'll have, at least we got another fireball energy there before we closed out the day. Well, we could get one more, you never know. I know, I know, yep, there's still, still one still last chance. One last chance, let's close out the, oh, bet, and it's an exciting one because it's a rookie of the day. Goodness gracious, I bet the rookies, whenever they're holding on to that position, they are literally just like, like no one oh, else, no one no else. No one like, else, right, because you don't know it. if it's the last one. We should try and make it so that it's always the last person as a We should, that'd, that'd be, be a fun great. one, yes. All right, so this is Dragon, who works for a space agency. And they're going to close us out. A space agency? A space like, it's not interesting. NASA? It's interesting that it's not specified. I know. Like, hmm. Which one? I know. It's like, how many do you know of? I listened to a speech last night on how to avoid uh, asteroids, which I thought was very interesting. Man, I've been, you know what? I don't know if I need a speech on that, Ben, because I've gone my whole life without getting hit by one. You're doing great. I'm You're doing, doing great. great. Well done. Actually, including everybody else here listening and watching, you've also done great your entire life by not being hit by an asteroid. Because it would absolutely kill you? Yes, oh, yeah, for sure. For, for sure. sure. Yeah. yeah. Even if it was like a tiny, like, like a small pebble by the time I got to you? I think that's a meteorite at that point in time. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, I see. Yeah. There's a size there thing. There is a size thing. Asteroid is like a, a rock that can't kill you, that will kill you from space. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Whereas a meteorite <laughs> will just horribly damage you. Yes. All right, Tropius, we have one card. What's it going to be? 
Oh, it's oh. there you go, Great Tusky X. Let's see. So we actually are going to score some points here. Yeah, let's see. Let's um, see. Uh, More than one, anyway, or maybe not. Actually, I don't know. You never know. This could you be like know. low value ex. Oh no, it's just one point. It's just one point. Ah, sorry about that, cents. dragon. Oh Man, I think uh, you know, dragon saw the ex flip over and was like, oh, "Is that more than four points?" And sadly, it's not. Um, so there you go. We will sleeve it for you. So we will indeed. We will indeed. Bam, get that, get that shiny new gold sleeve headed your direction. Man, as ever, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode of Box Breakers. I felt like it was a hooting and hollering good time. Dude, the we came out life. buns glazing we with had, that gold Maridon, or we, Caridon. I know, I know. I feel, I feel like we definitely had like our, our big pull almost right out of the gate. But either which way, it was a fun rookie race throughout the day. It and, was. of course, the award <laughs> did end up going to um, Shauna. Shauna! I, I literally, oh, I got you to, covered it. Uh, yeah, I, I'm so sorry. Uh, Shauna, congratulations. Olive Garden gift card headed your way. It's around here somewhere. We right do have here. it for you. Boom! Ba -ba Boom! It'll be included with your cards in the mail coming soon. Uh, guys, as ever, uh, thank you so much for tuning in. If you are interested in participating in a future episode of Box Breakers, we do have a waitlist link set up in the description down below that will let you know as soon as we have some availability because we are otherwise currently sold out out. Yes. Uh, guys, as a show that is entirely funded by patrons, we just can't thank you enough for your support. Otherwise, until next time, bye! bye.